Eggs up. Wakey, wakey. Mm. Eggs and bakey. Cold? <laughs> yeah. It's freaking freezing in here. Mm. It's so frozen. Mm. Why are you being such a wuss? Because. Yeah, we sleep in the same bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we can fit there. back here. It's, a, it's only a twin size, but, uh... Right? Mm-hmm. Oh. So we're back in Tulsa. Mm-hmm. Got in here... What? 1 a.m. and... Yeah, they didn't have a pickup number or a yeah. drop number for us. Yeah, the number for the load they didn't have, and they go, "Oh, we'll get back to you as soon as we have it." All right. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. It's a new perspective. Mm -hmm. Not just sitting in a cab. You know? <laughs> right. Right. I could sleep for like 10 more hours. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> <laughs> up here is a hole. Mm -mm. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Internet. So I guess we're going to get up and okay. make some coffee. Send a few messages if we there's can. A, there's, a, there's a waffle hizzy right down the street. Maybe still going to do that. Want some neat? Sure. <laughs> Alright. What? We'll be back <laughs> from the bunk. Right. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Turn that thing down. Volume up on the radio? Yeah. No. Now it's not. Yeah, you can get good coffee though. Home sign. Gotta have some decent coffee. I see you guys drinking the pilot, you know, whatever, TA, rock gut coffee all the time. I save a lot of money doing this too, you know. For the amount of coffee I drink, I've saved a lot of money. I got my trusty BMW cup, right? Yeah. That's how I roll. Why? How many BMWs do we own? Two. Two. Too, baby. Because we're rock stars like that. <laughs> right. Sorry, sorry. I was trying to do math in my head. <laughs> She's trying to take an IQ test right now. She wants to prove that women can be smart. <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, She's actually going to try and beat my IQ. Is this thing... Let's see. Huh? So we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Because we were talking about, I took an IQ test several years back, and it said, I mean, I, how legit it was, I don't know, but it was a really long IQ test, and it said my IQ was uh, 132 or 137 or something like that. And I go, you're suspect. <laughs> Not too sure about that. I need more water. Damn it! But. Oh, come on, mate. So. She wants to make sure she can get higher than me. <laughs> Just show me up.
there should be plenty. Yeah. It's K cups, those are good. Usually I get like Italian roast or something like that. But if you want it stronger, of course, you get the uh, small, medium, and large dose you can put on. I do small so it's more concentrated, you know, it's stronger coffee. And then the way I like to drink my strong coffee, just a little bit of milk and sugar in it. It's my, it's my, it's my gimme. It's my, right? What's up? I didn't like the results. <laughs> huh? I didn't like the results. I don't think they're accurate. What did you say? <laughs> what was it? Come on. What was it? What? You did it? Yeah. And what did it say? It said 109. See, so you smirk. But 109 is like above average, isn't it? Yeah. Just barely. But above average. I it's just look, one of them I, stupid free ones, though. It's yeah, not a real I had to one. look it up. I was like, I didn't even know the scale of what your IQ number meant, you know, or where you fit in. And mine, yeah, it said in the 130s. I'm like, well, and it had all right. kinds of math questions and everything, and I just did it all in my head. I didn't write nothing down. Did you say in your 130s you could actually go for a Mensa membership? Yeah. <laughs> it just went, oh, I want to go join Mensa and sit around with a bunch of nerds. No, but it, it had a bunch of stuff. Actually, it'd probably be a party. Like, yeah. as soon as all the Mensa clubs had closed the door and stuff, everybody busts out, like, just mad drugs and liquor and stuff. And go, We're going to party and then talk about smart stuff. <laughs> okay, like, it's a frat party for Brainiacs, you know. Good thing. Uh, hold on. I closed the thing. Whoops. So, coffee's made, right? You didn't want to eat it, did you? Yes, no, I still got it on. Do you want some? No. I'll get one of them little frappuccino things in the QT. You gave me greed and didn't want one anyways. <laughs> so today we are waiting for this load number that we had already got a hold of the dispatch again and they still don't have them. So we're just chilling. Nice thing about a guaranteed paycheck. Although, I, you don't even need to reply to it. It don't matter. I was just going to be mad. Just want to sit there and carry on a conversation with dispatch? Why not? Our dispatch is actually cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's been cool. Who knows if soon after the, the company goes through all of its changes now, if, yeah, I don't. if he'll even be a dispatcher anymore. Oh, I'm sure you will. We just found out the uh, company got sold. Yeah. Again, it didn't yeah. matter last time. Yeah, so. it's been merged like three or four times. So then the main entity of our company, though, just merged with another huge trucking company or trucking firm that owns an umbrella. Yeah, they're, they're the parent corporation of many trucking companies and big name trucking companies too so yep so they said nothing's going to change right away but you know I've been through mergers before and stuff and it's like I you know usually we were talking about it yesterday usually when these mergers happen for the drivers and stuff like that things change for the worse like right now, we got two things. Like we got benefits, you know. The benefits, because it's a bigger corporation, maybe the benefits will get better, who knows. Or we get a guaranteed paycheck every week, which what if, you know, they come in and change that. Now you're just going back on mileage pay or something like that, so. <laughs> then we'll be like, ah, see ya. So, see what happens though. Right? Yeah. So, get my little milky milk out here. Mm -hmm. That's how I do. That's how I do.
still good. Due date on my milk was 11.29. Oops. Better get that stuff drank up. Considering today's the fifth. Right. It's like a week, week past the date. Whoops. Professional coffee. Yeah, anybody that ever uh, wants to have good coffee in the truck, though, and you can save money too, because I mean, I got the Keurig for like 50 bucks at Walmart, and then the K cups and everything. If you're out, you know, I, I, if I'm going to put the money out on the coffee, I want to enjoy it. Spending two something for a cup of coffee at Flying J. Horrible. Ah, mm. Honey, that's great coffee. <laughs> so, yeah, we're in Tulsa. Gonna wait for this number, but go pick up that load. And we've been doing a shuttle run back and forth from Tulsa to Denver. So. Getting to see a whole lot of Kansas, right? Yeah. I think we should just move to Kansas. No. How say you? No. 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 Like the maid on Family Guy? No. <laughs> All right, we'll check back later though. We're just chilling right now in Tulsa and waiting for this load number and uh, that'll be about it, right? Yeah. Right. right. All right. So, how many sausage and how many eggs you want? 100 sausage and 71 eggs. For real though. Uh, I want you know what that is? Two and two. Yeah. <laughs> I used to watch the dead. Oh, freezer burn. <laughs> Looks like you might get three. Oh, I'll just take your two. Oh, things got like snow on it. <laughs> They're Canadian eggs. <laughs> oh, they're definitely real strong. They just melt a little bit. They're hard. Fall. Snow in the bottom of the bag. Like. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that hurt. Ow! You do now. I smacked it on the cabinet. <laughs> you do. Mmm, the breakfast of champions. Want some, uh, Okay. Sliced cheese? Shit. I'll get it out at least. Perception was going away. I know. <laughs> Getting all heavy footed. Yeah, you kept hitting the brakes for no reason. 
I wasn't planning out. Like really over, uh, overcompensating coming up on a curve or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like you're slowing way down. Like, well, and then I'll be looking at you going. Uh, I always, right. I always <laughs> hit those curves though here in Tulsa too fast. So. Yeah, but I mean you were really overcom. When I can sit there and ask you multiple times. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. You feeling alright? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> tired? Yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> Do you need me to drive? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then that wind beforehand, though, I kept slowing down for that, man. Them gusts would come through and they hand me my pipa. Uh, it freaking smacked the side of the truck, you know? You could just feel it lifting up and you get that. You get that surge of electricity through your body, like a ooh, like a roller coaster when you go through the loop de loop. I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. You never know what I'm talking about, ever. Not a mind reader. No, you're just a genius. <laughs> so. so after I filled in my name and everything, and my email address on that. IQ thing oh. said I was between a 121 and a 137, and that they wanted me to pay nine bucks to take <laughs> a more elaborate test so they could pinpoint yeah. it exactly. They, they say, "Hey, your score is actually really high. Do you want to find out how high it really yeah. is?" <laughs> hey, it's nine bucks. Yeah. It's like, how smart are you? <laughs> Hot enough. <laughs> <laughs> Was it playing grease? Oh. Those eggs, those are something else, man. No. Okay. But yeah, that. So everybody can see our wonderful breakfast. Now. Yes, breakfast. This is trying, well, I mean, the drink excluded, but even yeah. the eggs and sausage is cheap, mm -hmm. microwavable, and not a lot of sugar. Yeah. Like These little egg discs. Little <laughs> yeah, if we had some, uh, a thing of English muffins, we could make our own English muffin or egg muffin. We got, uh, we got bagels, bagels blueberry bagels. If they're still good. Yeah, yeah fun stuff here. See so yeah, anybody that uh, goes on the road and is looking for a uh, cheap food without a lot of sugar in it? Yeah. Now you got a microwave? <laughs> when in QT Mart got a, uh, they actually have an espresso machine, like a, a, a real one. You make mochas and cappuccinos yeah. and stuff like that, so trying that out. Good yeah. times. Good times. Call that good for now, because I'm sure everybody doesn't want to watch us cram our face full of food. <laughs> we'll be back.
about 8 o'clock this morning. We got up and sent a message to dispatch. Like, uh, do you have that drop number yet? I'm like, oh no, we're working on that. Just hold tight. Like, okay. So we're just sitting here, made some breakfast, as you saw. And, and then uh, we get another, a new load sent to us. We're like, all right. And it says we're going to, to California. We're like, California? What? What? Wait, what? <laughs> What's up? So we came to this uh, taco shop. I forget the name of it. Ricky's. Right. Ricky's? Yeah. I-40, exit 140, Oklahoma City, right next door to the Loves. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice meal. You got some uh, huevos con chorizo. Got some tortillas with it, you know, some Valentino sauce and everything. And I ordered the super wet burrito. Uh, yeah, because, you know, super dry burritos are boring. Yeah, I don't want no dry burrito. And... <laughs> what the hell? Look at that thing, man. I mean, put some perspective, you know, look at that port. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great, great. Yeah, look at that. Like, <laughs> that is definitely yeah. a super burrito. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. Just thought I'd point that out. So anybody that ever comes to the Loves, you can see right across the street is a Flying J. So you know where we're at. And then over to the right. 
is the uh, pilot and TA on the other side of the freeway, but taco shop right next door. The Loves off exit 140, I-40, Oklahoma City. Come on over here and get you a super wet burrito, I guess. Yeah. Salsa and queso. For yeah, salsa and queso for your chips and everything. Pretty good, eh? All right, good times. Hoorah! <laughs> Down from Tulsa. Down from Tulsa. Going back to Cal. 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 <laughs> so, but I've got a crap ton of miles left to go. So. Yeah, probably around, what, 13 something? 1300 and 14, 14, 19 left. 14, 19. Yeah. So. Over 1,700 miles of deadhead. Crazy. From Tulsa to Sacramento. Unbelievable. Hey, it's not our fuel. Whatever. <laughs> We're getting paid no matter what. Right? right? So, I mean, I guess at least they're getting good gas mileage or fuel mileage. Fuel mileage. Rookie. For... <laughs> Rookie. <laughs> So I guess we're going to wrap this one up for the night. Got a lot of more miles to cover. <laughs> do that again. There, do must the, be, I do think that again? A, there must be a ghost in the truck. Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Look in, what was that scary movie 2? Where they're in the haunted mansion or whatever and the ghost comes in and gets that chick. Oh yeah. And, so, and she's like laying there but her mouth it goes, oh, 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 like the ghost. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, I'm hilarious. <laughs> so funny. So that's a wrap eh? Yep that's a wrap. Alright. Wow. Don't forget like, share, subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, you want to send us a message hit up us hit us up on Messenger. <laughs> yeah. And uh, don't forget, we got T-shirts for sale. Uh, link will be in the description. There's uh, all the ball and chain, six nine mafia, and uh, there's also a trucking with Selena for uh, all the cool chicks out there. I guess we'll check back in the morning, eh? Yep. 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 All right. All right. Say good night, internet. Good night. <laughs> you don't want to do it? No. Keep her between the ditches. Bitches. <laughs> Good night, Internet.